my family has been roasting and carving turkeys for over 60 years. We have roasted and carved hundreds of thousands of turkeys, and today I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to carve your own roasted turkey. You're going to need a few things to start with. First, a sharp knife, not serrated, a spatula to help plate the turkey, a good sized cutting board, and a serving platter. The first thing we're going to do is cut the leg from the thigh. And to do that, we're simply going to cut the skin between the leg and the thigh, just like this, and just cut through the dark meat with the tip of the knife, like this. And we're just going to push back. And you can see there's a natural seam that opens up here. And I'm just going to use the bone as a guide to cut right around. There's a little joint here, so you're going to want to push this down a little bit to get around it. And you'll see how easily that dark meat just separates from the turkey once you've found the joint. Next, we're going to cut the leg from the thigh. And the first thing we want to do here is find the joint. And if you just feel with your finger, you can, there's a little dimple. And we're going to take the knife and just gently cut the meat. And you'll be able to see where that joint is. You can see it just like that. Remember, folks, at any point when you're carving the turkey, you're not going to be cutting through any bone. So it's not necessary to use any excessive force. Now we're going to cut the dark meat, the thigh meat, from the bone, and we do that by placing the thigh on a cutting board with the bone facing from left to right, horizontally. And we're going to use the bone as a guide and just take the knife and run it across the top of the bone, cutting not completely through the dark meat. Flip it over, do the same thing for the other side. Just using the bone as a guide, and you can see how easily that meat comes right off. We do the same thing here, I'll flip this over, Follow right down along the bone. And one more time, same thing. There we go. And we have our dark meat. And we're going to place this on the cutting board, skin side up, leaving it long ways, horizontally here. You will be cutting against the grain, which is very important. And we're going to cut this into about half inch pieces. Use your fingers to hold the skin in place. This way it'll look nice when you plate it onto your serving platter. And we'll just take the spatula and use that to transfer the turkey meat onto the platter, just like so. Next, we're going to cut the wing from the turkey. And we do that by simply taking the point of the knife and just cut right by the joint. You'll feel the bone and just go around the joint there. And you'll see how easily that that wing just comes right off like that. And very simply, we'll take this wing and split it in half. This joint's very easy to find. Cut it all the way down, just push it apart, and there you go. Split the wing in half, it's easier for your guests to handle that way. Next, we're going to take the white meat from the turkey, and we do that by cutting right down the breast bone. Once again, use the bone as a guide, let the knife do the work. Just very gently follow the bone, and you'll see that that white meat is just going to peel back nice and easy. You can see that, I'm right down on the bone, I'm just using the knife against the bone, and that white meat will come off just like that. Now, when we slice the white meat, we're going to cut that a little thinner, quarter inch pieces, skin side up. You can see that the grain is running this way, and what we want to do is cut against the grain. If you hold the turkey going long ways like this, again, hold that skin on top with your fingers, this way it'll look nice. And you want to go in about a quarter inch piece here, not quite as thick as the dark meat. And you can see how easily this turkey slices. You can see how juicy this turkey is, and it's a beautiful golden brown. Okay, and there we go. And once again, we're going to take that spatula, and we're going to use that to transfer the turkey onto the cutting, onto the uh, serving platter, just like so. And there we have it, folks. The reason for not using a serrated knife is when you cut the turkey, it would tend to just uh, make it tear. And uh, just a, a flat knife or just a flat blade, it'll cut right through the turkey. Well, folks, I certainly hope this has been helpful for you in carving your turkey. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at zornsonline.com or call any one of our three locations. Thank you very much.